Last year, I shared this project showing a prototype of an AI-based commentary system for the game of football using GPT-2 language model. Check this out. Here at I'm Martin Tyler Allen Smith is with me and our football today from the Premier League. It is the North London Derby. It is Arsenal against Tottenham Hotspur. Based on this project, I concluded that there was tremendous potential to generate non-repetitive commentary by using unique phrases generated with GPT-like AI. But the big limitation was that it wasn't entirely clear to me how I could give game information as input to this GPT-2 model so that it would generate relevant commentary. While we could manually craft an input representation of the game information like free kick, offside, goal, etc. and use that to generate relevant lines, it wasn't clear how we could obtain a training dataset for the same. So when I came across this recent paper from Facebook AI on using GPT-like transformer models on images, it got me really excited. Before I explain how this work could potentially be used for video game commentary, let's take a look at this paper. It is titled End-to-End -End Object Detection with Transformers or DETR in short. Until now, transformers were mainly used for language modeling tasks, but this is the first time I'm seeing them being used for computer vision. The basic idea is to simplify the object detection process in methods like RCNN by using transformers. The input image is converted to an embedding similar to techniques like word to vec in NLP. Also from NLP, the concept of positional embedding is used to retain spatial information. These are then fed to a transformer encoder followed by the decoder to give the desired output. In the case of this paper, the DETR model outputs bounding box information which is useful for the task of object detection, showcasing the usefulness of transformers in computer vision tasks as well. Now, with regards to the problem of generating game commentary, this architecture is useful because we can combine the encoder of the image model with the decoder of the language model which wasn't previously possible using the same model architecture. We can now use real-life sports games to learn commentary from video action, thereby connecting computer vision and natural language processing tasks together with a ready-made training dataset. This is just a hypothesis. I have no idea if this will actually work or not. I have never worked with transformers before, but if you guys have, Please leave a comment down below with your thoughts. I would love to discuss this with someone who is more experienced in this domain.